hey, if this is the RV that you plan on keeping, hands down, get up there, make your appointment and go get it done, so. Ricky Young Jr., retired Marine, 22 and a half years uh, from a little town in Texas called Nacogdoches. Just Google the oldest town in Texas and it comes up. Um, married, my wife's name's Christine. It's my dog Helic uh, right here, my companion, good friend. So he's my true road dog, you know, so he travels with me, takes care of me. Uh, it's a 2019 uh, Grand Design Solitude 374 THR. We've had it now about three, three years and some change. Love it, love it. This is the one that we plan on keeping for the long haul. Uh, she picked it. I just told her when we upgraded, all I asked for is the generator, slide out toppers and the residential fridge and she picked this one. And uh, she did a great job because this is the one that I truly uh, want to keep, you know, to the to the end. So we love this model. We started watching that show uh, on television, Going RV, and eventually, right before I, not too long before I retired, she came and she asked the question, "Hey, what do you think about giving up the house out in California and moving into an RV?" And hey, I've slept in worse places. Let's do it. So. Uh, so our first one was a travel trailer. It was nice, we enjoyed it. Uh, I've been sold on it ever since our first trip to the Grand Canyon. Uh, three nights, full hookup, $150, couldn't beat it. Hotels were over $200, plus food, drink, and everything. So I'm, I'm an RVer for life now. <laughs> We've upgraded to our fifth wheel now, and, and Lord Jesus, uh, if I would have known then what I know now, it, we would have had a fifth wheel from the get-go. But uh, I love the freedom of it. If we travel somewhere, uh, you don't have to worry about the hassle of a hotel or uh, you know food, restaurants, things like that. Uh, if you get tired, pull over into a parking lot somewhere and crank up the generator and you're inside and you're at home. We were blessed to make it to the uh, Grand Design Rally this past summer. I mean, awesome, awesome time, uh, great experience, met some really nice people. Uh, so at the rally, we upgraded our steps. Uh, we did have the pull-out tray installed, upgraded the pin box. Um, I upgraded the hose reel, uh, the manual, I didn't do the electrical. <laughs> so, and hands down, it's been great upgrades. Well worth the, the, the money. The, the time and the effort, so uh, well, money well spent. So, I uh, came up to get the independent suspension installed. Uh, we decided since this is the RV for us for the long haul, uh, it's it's worth investing into it. Uh, it's just like a home. You you do upgrades to your home, you do upgrades to your car, things like that, because you plan on keeping it. So, uh, just like a house has needs a solid foundation. I did my homework, my research, uh, and I was actually, we were blessed to meet our neighbors, which they're, he's a Marine also in Fort Worth, and they were up here last year and they had it put on theirs. And I mean, hands down, he says it was worth, they, they both love it. Uh, so by doing that, uh, you know, provides a good foundation for the RV, uh, so less things, wiggle apart <laughs> when you're going up and down the roads because these roads are, are rough, you know, so by uh, providing more, more of uh, the five inches of travel, the shock, independent, uh, just, just trying to make the RV last. Um, I got here on Tuesday and ever since then, everybody's been very kind and helpful, uh, very informative. I love the two-way communication keeping us informed of what's going on with the RV and um, having the opportunity to go back and take a look and see, you know, uh, the progress that they're making each day. Uh, I think it's awesome that you guys allow us to stay in the RV inside the bay instead of having to go out and spend money on a hotel, you, the lunch, uh, the beautiful lounge. Again, the whole experience has just been great. And I'd most definitely recommend it to anybody from here on out that. Hey, if this is the RV that you plan on keeping, 
hands down, get up there, make your appointment and go get it done. So, and I hadn't even driven it yet, but just based on the experience and talking to everyone on the reason why this is necessary, uh, I don't feel I'll be disappointed, so. Yeah.